In order to use the mobile device from your phone for ELDs, you will need to download the app either on the App Store or the Google Android Store. So first example we're going to be using is the App Store. You just go to the App Store, enter PeopleNet, The, app, the application is called PeopleNet Connected Driver. Once you download, this is what it looks like. Once you download it, this is what the actual app looks like. First, you will need to log in. It's gonna send you to a website to either sign up or to log in if you already have an account to access the app. So I will show you the steps to sign up. First, you're going to enter your email address. Once we get into the next screen, it's gonna ask you for your company number. For Mustang Express, it's 4679. Next thing you will do is enter your driver ID. Then you will enter your password. And press link. It will take some time for you to, to link it. You should get a screen that says, um, gives you information regarding your GPS access request. It will actually give you weather data, fill you in with location data as well to make duty status changes. And it will also um, has a feature called safe mode, which helps reduce accidents by preventing the use of the app while users are driving. So you press okay, I got it. Next thing you'll do is it'll give you a screen of all the app updates over the past couple of months, so you press OK, I got it. And the next thing you see will be an update to your drive time, your duty time, and your available time. So from there, you'll be able to view your logs. Now, as we go through the screen, you can go to the menu screen. Right now, we're currently in the dashboard. We can also look at our timelines to see what we look like before and after the next couple of days. We can also re review any messages that have been sent to us. Currently at this time, we don't have any messages, so that's why we're not seeing any. We can also see our e-driver logs to see what um, our logs have looked like over the past week or two weeks. And again, this is all from the, the menu screen. We'll also have the roadside inspections, what information we currently have, so that way, this ELD inspection on the menu, if, a, if a, an inspector decides he doesn't want to see the, de the device, you can actually just pull the device, your log information from the menu screen, go to roadside inspection, and from there you can see your logs for today, previous day, or however many days you want to look for it. You can also look at the logs as well as any type of unidentified driver reports that are showing up on your logs. Again, these unidentified driver reports, they're new to the ELDs because anytime a truck has been moved when it's not logged in, you will be able to, uh, it, it still shows up on your logs, but notify dispatch. So that way we can go ahead and mark those as being yard moves, mechanic moves, or dealership moves where we send a truck over to the dealership to get repaired. So those are our options. So again, don't forget to use the e the roadside inspection as a tool to also show the officers your logs. Going back to the menu screen again, we also have a daily summary of your previous eight days your trips and support in case you have any, any issues with support. 
Down at the bottom left, you can also review your, your timeline, your daily summaries for the past couple of days. And on the bottom right, you'll be able to see your e-driver logs for the, the, the past couple of days as well. In the top, top right hand corner, you'll see a, an option that says sleep. From there, you'll be able to access if you're still in a sleeper berth, or you'll also be able to move yourself to on duty or off duty from the top right portion as well. Next to that, you'll be able to look at different channels as well. We haven't turned on that feature yet, but that's something that we're going to be doing in the future. So this is how you get started with the PeopleNet connected driver device app.